There's one big mistake that people make on a Bowflex when it comes to doing a bicep curl. And in fact, this mistake is going to end up robbing you of probably 50 to 75% of the gains you're trying to get for your bicep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that mistake, show you how to correct it. But as usual, if you find this video to be helpful, please hit like and maybe the subscribe. I do these types of videos and other health and fitness videos several times a week. So whenever we're doing a bicep curl on a Bowflex or any cable machine, we wanna make sure that the pressure of the movement stays on the biceps. We want it to be here. We want this to get the workout. But the way that these machines are set up can easily lead us into a giant mistake that we don't even realize that we're making. Let me show you an example. Hopefully this doesn't get too loud. Okay, so a normal bicep curl, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it back. And so this is good, this is good. But look, right here, a lot of us make this mistake and we bring our elbows too high in the movement. Let me show you that again. We're curling. We want that contraction, so we pull it all the way up. But in doing so, and our elbows come up, we are now engaging a bunch of our back, a bunch of our shoulders. There's a lot more that's fighting this resistance now than just the biceps. We're actually using a lot of other muscles that we don't want to be using. And even though it's still a hard movement, it's actually robbing our biceps of some of that resistance and some of that work that we really want to be here. It's now going here, it's now going here, and we don't want to do that. So what we want to do is we want to do a bicep curl in a way where it keeps the pressure right where we want it, which is on the bicep. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, let's think about this in a 50% to 75% contraction or, or, or exercise. So we're only going to pull it 50% of the way up, let it down, or if you want a little bit more contraction on the actual muscle, we'll do a 75 up to about here, and then let it down. We don't want to keep pulling it up here. We don't want these elbows to flare up on us like this because again, that's going to cause all sorts of other muscles to jump in and help and we don't want that. Let's go ahead and do a 50%. I'll show you what that looks like. So we're going to pull it up and again, the 50% is pretty cool because it actually allows you to, to do a continuous movement without ever really stopping. There's really not a rest, which is even better for a workout because there's no point where you're taking the pressure off of your bicep. I'll show you here. So we're just going to go up about 50% and we're going to pull it back down. Nothing crazy. 50%, 50%. It's keeping the pressure where I want it. My back is hardly engaged at all, which is exactly what I want. I mean, there's a little bit there for stability, but nothing like it was whenever my elbows were flared up. So a 75% for those that want a little bit more contraction in their biceps, just go up a little bit more. So right, right there. Keeping those elbows down. Now again, what we don't want to do is this. See the elbows? My traps, my lats, everything now is on fire and I've basically given my biceps a pass so that I have to work as hard, which completely defeats the purpose of this whole workout. So keep that in mind next time that you're doing a Bowflex bicep workout. Keep the pressure where you want it on the biceps. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please hit like maybe even the subscribe while you're already here. I've got a workout to finish. So that's it. See you on the next video. Peace out.